Beats, Silk Boy Honey Wrestling, grown man who loves God and wrestling. Man, it's been a while since I made a vlog trip. Um, it's Friday, you know what that means. We ain't talking about Rampage, we're talking about We Are All Wrestling, Welcome to the Bronx. It's gonna be my first time going to a wrestling show in my borough, in the Bronx. Y'all know the vibes. Um, right now, I'm gonna go to those Toros, and I get something to eat. Like, I'm gonna be there for a very long time. I'll be there for like, seven something i believe to like maybe 10 11 o'clock so i have to have something i almost have to like eat light or, or eat something like like a salad or something because as you see in the in the beginning of the video i was in dominican republic for a couple of days i had to take care of something you know so if if we are wrestling they didn't had a show this week i would have been there till like maybe saturday night sunday morning so um, I didn't want to miss it. So, you know, I thank God that we was able to like take care of what we need to take care of. I got here Thursday morning, which it was, yeah, got here Thursday morning. And now we're gonna enjoy good old pro wrestling in the Bronx. Um, I am am sponsoring, I'm sponsoring um, the match between Janai Kai and Speedball Mike Bailey. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I thought, this match was not gonna happen and then shout out to Pete Rosado when he hit me up like um we're gonna have that match happen I was like um I was like I turned to Batista I was like give me what I want <laughs> you know so you know I got the match um I'm pretty sure it's the main event if not then I'm just happy that I was able to sponsor um Janai Kai versus on Steve Mike Bailey it'll be my second time sponsoring um both wrestlers. I sponsored the match of Janai Kai and Tristan Ty at the last show of We Are Wrestling, One Step Closer. And then not too long ago, um, I sponsored, me and the Figure King, excuse me, sponsored a match between Mike Bailey and um, Gabriel Sky. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, <laughs> top guys, you already know, FTR all day. Now it's not. <laughs> but um, yeah, it should be a cool show. We got a lot of we got a lot of great matches. We got the Rumble in the Bronx. Um, we got Gamble versus Chase. I can't believe this dude called him called Chase a munch. He called this dude a munch. Out of all words, you call this man a munch. Like, come on now. Um, you got Bam Bam versus Evans. Um, yo, Kofi, don't try to shoot air ball. All right. <laughs> um, man, oh, man, it was just a lot of matches. You have Carter versus Rob Killjoy. A match that I knew it was going to happen um, as soon as um, as soon as the old father running boot a member of the of the ugly ducky straight to the shadow realm. I, I was just there, while I was clapping. I see Carter from like from was it? yeah from my on left side of my eye. I was like, what the hell? He just running boot. And I would just shout seventy like he <laughs> dude was wilding. And now we got that match. We got the triple threat match between uh, Marcus Matters, um, I think it's Mr. James, or Evander James, and Mr. 485 himself, Jay Bougie. Um, Bougie got a lot to prove, you know, cause like a lot of people criticize him cause he's with Takeover, cause he always, cause Takeover, excuse me, always has his back. Now Takeover is no, now he's no longer with Takeover. I think he got a lot to prove and I think he's gonna get the dub. So, with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for every video that I post. You guys be the first ones to know. Um, hit the like button, because if you don't, the YouTube algorithm will not help me at all. So hit that like button. Oh, I forgot, the trios match. You got Pro Lifter versus the Miracle Ones. Um, Ichiba, number one. I can't wait to see him in the ring. The Bronx Street Fight between Chris Barton and Yaya, yeah, that's gonna be ridiculous. It's a lot of good matches. The card is stacked, I cannot wait. Let me go get let me go to those totals, get get um get my food, and we're heading to the Bronx. We are wrestling. Welcome to the Bronx. This finna be a breeze. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the Bronx. Hey yo, my wrestling life is weird. <laughs> so a couple of so a couple of weeks ago, when I went to the um big time wrestling with an FTR um homicide, I was on the same train ride with homicide. Coming, going to Brooklyn. This time around, all of a sudden, I see Spice and Big Game Leroy, and we're riding on the same train. 
Like, it's just crazy. But um, I'm on my way. My breath was kicking. So, let go.
Talk to them nice. Talk to them nice. Talk to them nice.
Hey, yo, flex, hey, yo, flex a little bit, flex a little bit. Hey, yo, my man's ready, my man's ready. My man's ready, he ready, ready.
for you. I think my match is gonna come up soon. So crazy first half, but second half is gonna be better. Let's go. Right here. <laughs> 
go. No, 
Nikolai! Así no, así no, así no. Oh, hell no, oh, hell no. You messed up, you messed up.
pick it up. Hey, <laughs> my dear. 
coffee with Jeff. <laughs> Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Touch of strength. I just say that. Tell me he did not just say that. <laughs> yeah. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Let's go, Bam Bam. Let's go, Bam Bam. Hey, yo, Kofi. 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 Look at Doctor on the Squish of Fish Express!
Is that boy?
Jericho? Walls of Jericho? Oh! Walls of Bailey?
Includes We Are Wrestling, Welcome to the Bronx. Um, what a show. By the third match, I was done. Like, I was done, done. Like, I, I couldn't. Like, that. I think that six man tag between Prolific and the Miracle Wands took me out. Because not only I was cheering for Prolific, but I was cheering for Ichiban. Like, it was just crazy. Like, I was out of it by the third match of the show. Um, I think the big mistake I made is I ate like a low carb meal before I went to the show. I should have had like some uh, nice balanced, nice balanced meal, probably a, a carb meal to sustain me throughout the show. Cause 
Man, that low fall. Should have got me an Avil liquid, Avil liquid gel in hand because I was screaming a lot and my it looked like my head, my my head was about to pop. Um, should have got me halls because I felt like my voice was was losing. So I should I could have got I could have got a nice. If I went to those stores, could have ordered me a burrito. Could have got me an Avil liquid gel and I could have have halls for me and the good brother from Dirty Heels. Shout out to Dirty Heels, by the way. Um, but it was an amazing show. Um, shout out to Pete Rosado. Thank you for um, allowing me to sponsor the match between um, Mike Bailey and Janai Kai. Um, I know I said I know I said on Instagram that this will be my last time sponsoring, but I have something in January, and I'm not gonna go into further detail. You guys are gonna find that out on the first vlog trip of 2023 so shout out to everyone who was there shout out to gg shout out to knuckle shout out to knucklehead um you know how now you know how I, how i felt when steve pena um won the five points title match last year and to unify the battle club pro um title with the franchise and the five points title i know knucklehead you're feeling how i felt when you when Matt Awesome won the Rumble in the Bronx, and shout out to Matt Awesome, man. It makes sense that he would win the Rumble in the Bronx because one, he's one, he's from the Bronx. Uh, there's been there are a couple of people that that is from the Bronx that was in the Rumble too, but I feel like it made sense more for him because like he's been working hard, and you know Matt Awesome has lost people close to him and stuff, and it made sense that something like this, something this magnitude, he will win. Um, the rumble in the ball so shout out to um to matt awesome shout out to every competitor that um that participated shout out to jay bougie shout out to evander james marcus matters um yo yo who was surprised like i thought it was gonna be a triple threat but they really made it a, a fatal four-way um <laughs> i told kofi we i told kofi don't be like lebron when he shot an air ball near um the the logo he should have been like Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, but he shot air ball like LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James is a beast. Like, let's stop. Like, I know he does like a flaw. I know he has like I know he has like flaws and he and he has his moments, but he's a beast. Like, come on, he's a beast. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of us wish we had the athleticism he has. Come on now. But um, yeah, I did say it would be my last time sponsoring, but we got something on January, so stay tuned. Um, shout out to Gamble. I knew he would he would need to win. Um, sorry guys, my hand, my shoulder is killing me. Um, I knew he would have to win this match because he ha he did win in a pre-show when we are wrestling, but he hasn't won in the main card when we are wrestling. So for him to finally win and also have a spot at the next show for the grand champion title, shout out to him, man. But with that being said, guys, um, I'm here in the park. My little niece came from my little niece came from Pennsylvania to come visit so she's here in the park and i'm here chilling and i'm taking the opportunity to um to record these this last video because i tried and <laughs> all that was whack i'm like dang i gotta do this again but um with that being said make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell for every video that i post you guys be the first ones to know don't forget to hit the like button because if you don't the youtube algorithm is not going to help you so please hit that like button um i'll leave all my social media my podcast in the link description below through link tree i don't want to hear you go i can't find you on social media everything is in the in link on the link description below through through link tree you'll see a link tree a link tree website and boom all my social media platforms are there so stop it also follow we are wrestling on facebook twitter instagram they're they're on the rise and i'm gonna bring church i declare that 10 years from now we are wrestling is going to be known across the united states i'm throwing it out there next show will be next sunday god willing invictus pro wrestling has a show in hunts point new york now unfortunately i won't be sponsoring but i will be there to show support and there's a match that you either fight or you die trying. Dominic De Niro, Chris Barton, this is your last shot. Technically speaking, this is your last shot of the Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team titles. You either fight, 
send milk chocolate to the L train at 14th Street or you die trying. That's the message for Sunday, November 13th. You either fight, win those tag team titles, or you die trying. I'm gonna leave it out there. And to conclude, um, I will put all the matches that I sponsor for the, um, that I sponsor, that I made, that I sponsor for the main event of every show. Um, shout out to Battle Club, shout out to Invictus, shout out to We Are Wrestling. Thank you guys for this year for allowing me to main event, to sponsor the main events. Thank you guys for the opportunity. Thank you guys for um, allowing me to do this. You know, God's grace has been there and you guys like, I, I, I don't know how to repay you guys. I don't know how to repay you guys. I really don't. I don't know how to repay Joe Kim. I don't know how to repay, um, I think it's Nick from Invictus. I don't know how to repay people's out of you guys. With, I came in with open arms and it's like, I just don't know how to repay you guys. I really don't. And you know, hopefully, um, 2020, um, 2023, I'll probably do one and that's it. Cause I'm trying to go to WrestleMania 40 in 2024, but after WrestleMania 2024, WrestleMania 40, I will, um, I will go back and sponsor, but, um, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this year, maybe three, four months to put money on the side so I could go to WrestleMania 40. But, um, I know I said, I know I repeat this. I know I'm beating a dead horse. I know I said this would be my last one, but January, we got something going on. I couldn't deny, I couldn't deny, I couldn't deny the opportunity. So you guys will see it on the first vlog trip of the year. It's your boy, Henny Wrestling. Grown man who loves God and wrestling, and I am out. But before I leave, we are wrestling. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Take care, guys. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. God bless. I know that you love me, so I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Say, but not soft, you get that understood. Uh. God got me doing things I never would. I, I, I be going places that they never said I could, yeah I just spent some time with God that's fitness, fitness. Yeah, run up on the devil with a quickness, quickness. Yeah, catch